buildable feedlots are here, and today I'm going to show you how to use them. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today, I got 17 mods for you for all platforms. We have 5 new and 11 updates, and for PC and Mac players, we have 1 new. I make mod review videos every time mods are released on the in-game mod hub, usually Monday through Friday. So. Get subscribed if you're new, that way you never miss any. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have the Case IH Magnum 8900 series from Casarius Modding. You guys have been waiting on this one and it is finally here. Starting off, we have 170 horsepower, power shift transmission, 445 liters of fuel. We also have 24 mile per hour max speed, not bad, 9.2 tons, and it is 22 slots on consoles. Customization includes wheel brands from Michelin, Trelleborg, Continental, Lizard, which are rebranded Firestones, and back in. In here, you can see we've got uh, row crops, rear duels. We've got kind of like a spread axle with different sets of duels. We got big old four wheel drive versions, and then we got some two wheel drive versions there as well. So check them out. Find the one that you like. As far as fenders go, I'm trying to get this to go back to two wheel drive there. Four wheel drive. Oh, come on. There we go. Fenders, no, or yes. We've also got front extra lights of yeah and no. Mirrors, you can do some uh, kind of little puppy dog mirrors popping out right there. Beacon light, one on the left or nada. Front options, we have a weight bracket, 500 kg, 1000 kg, rock box or nada. So no front three point on there. As far as your quick hitch on the back, yes or no. We've also got two wheel drive axle width, which kind of changes some stuff up. Let's take a look at that real quick. So let's go into a two wheel drive format right here and then go to the Aha, uh -huh, okay, I see. So you got a little, little skinnier or wider, depending on what's going on. Monitor on the inside, yes or no. Engine setup, 8910, which gives you 170 horsepower. We also have a 214, 239, 261, and two different versions. And then back in again. Main color, we've got a couple different things here, but this is not a main color. This is the exhaust color. And then we've got rim color, if you would like. If you have two-wheel drive, it won't change up those front rims. Next up from FSG Modding, we have the Lizard 25DU trailer. Two trailers right here. We have a normal tipper, and then we've got a flatbed version. Let's start with the T, the tipper version. This right here, 18,100 liter capacity, 3.9 tons, and it weighs or has five slots on consoles. It is a bulk trailer, meaning it will hold literally everything. We've got wheel brands from Continental, Trelleborg, Michelin, Midas, Bridestein, and back in again. These are all duels as well, which is really nice to see, but what you see is what you get. Main color on here, this is your color palette. A lot of stuff going on through here. I'm just going with a nice onyx black. You know what? chromed out orange and then chassis colors we got those as well if you want to swap it um interestingly no rim color odd to see and then we've got the second trailer the 25 duf instead of the t for flatbed this is five slots on consoles wheel brands include the exact same stuff main color we've got the exact same color options here as well but again no color options for the rims. Next is the Robert Hydropel number one from Paolo 5090R. At the end of the day, these are just bell shredders. We've got a two different ones here. As you can see, just two different ones. Choose the one you like, really, at the end of the day. The first one right here is going to be the Hydropel 1GL. Holds one bell, weighs 753 kilograms, requires 60 horsepower, and it will do, well, straw bells, seven slots on consoles. Attacher type. So we've got the Manitou attacher on the back, a telehandler, front loader, stole, JCB, skid steer, wheel loader, and back into the Manitou again, meaning pretty much everything will work with this, including a couple custom connections as well. That's nice to see. And then we have a larger version right here. This is the GT. You always got to go with the GT model. Similar, if not exactly the same connection options there, which is nice. 60 horsepower, 770 kg, one, uh, one bell, seven slots. There you go. Next to last new one for all platforms today is the buildable feedlot. Now, I've taken a lot of different pieces through here, but at the end of the day, really, it's just a piece in the middle. I'm going to show you how to kind of build this so it's only for cattle, at least as of right now, as far as I know. So we can go into cattle. Find yourselves right here, boop, and this is what you get. Just a place where your animals go and where the mesh is. So once you place this down, the animals are only going to go where that mesh is. You can make it look like anything you want, but at the end of the day, it's just where the mesh is. And that's all the animals are going to run around in. So 
So we'll kind of bring it right over here and we'll place one of these Boop. down just like that. Now we do have other pieces as well. If we go into decorations and we go into fences in here, we can find a couple different gates as well as a couple different fence types, which is nice. So we've got two fence types and there are three fence types and three different kinds of gates, depending on what you want to go with. Uh, designs are very, very different from each other, which is nice, but they do complement each other. So there's that as well. And then if you go into others, you've got some other stuff in here as well, like the buildable feedlot pack mod. This is a tire for water, even though it doesn't hold anything. And then you've got your buildable feedlot uh, loading chute right here. At the end of the day, it's important to remember that these are just visuals. The, at the end of the day, it's just your animals and, and how they do what they do. But... If we jump down here, for example, we can come over here where I can turn off this. So now we have an open pasture for cattle. Or you could put two of these side by side if you really want to. Food and stuff goes in the front. Animals over here. 1,000 head of cattle. Which is really, really really nice one quick heads up this will do slurry and it will do manure as well but you need to place down um, extension silos stuff like that near it and then you'll be good to go uh, they do say that it may also do milk as well milk is kind of coated with this but you will need to put down a milk silo extension for that to work so just heads up there. Those parts are not included with this because there's plenty of mods for all of that. And your last new mod for all platforms today is the BGA Network Distributor. So this maximizes your returns from the outputs of your BGA, their improved distribution into the power grid, and more comprehensive purification of methane. Basically, makes everything work a lot better. It's reflected in improved payout, so double the standard rates, but distribution takes longer to complete. So heads up there. There's two different versions because this is from Disturbed Simulations. There's a, a cheaty version, which I prefer, but yeah, you can use a regular one if you want. They look exactly the same. If we bump it here, you can see we've got electrical charge and methane for both of these. However, one of them will do, let's say for the electrical charge, 100 in, 200 out, 1200 cycles per month. Over here, 100 in, 200 out, 4,800 cycles per month. So nice and easy there. And then you've got something very, very similar as well when you use the methane. Now, the capacities have been increased as well by four. So if you guys are using anything like this, you definitely want to make sure you got these. Should help you out just a little bit. Making our way over to mod updates for all platforms. And La Coronella has probably received the longest changelog that I've ever seen in my entire life. Version 1.0.2. Five. This does require a new game save to be able to enjoy all the changes. Uh, so basically just delete your old one and jump in. There is a few new things that require the new game save. Full translation in French, Italian, and Brazilian, aka Portuguese. They've also got new types of filling stuff, including pistachios, red lettuce, New Holland refills, uh, hydraulic oil, and copper sulfate. Sounds like we're making something to uh, catch on fire. <laughs> also new fruit trees, almond and pistachios, and quite literally a whole lot more. We would be here for probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes talking about this update. So check it out. Go ahead and update it. Again, you're going to have to delete your old save because this requires a brand new one. We also have an update to the Massey Ferguson 8700S from Blue Organ Modding version 1.2.1. Minor bugs have been fixed, decals and colors have been re-edited, and new details and animations have been added. And we got an update to the Fenton 900S4 from LS Agrarale version 1.1. They've added the 933 Vario, they've adjusted the Profile Plus decal, joystick animations have been added, and they've added the Asaria Compact Pro for precision farming. How's about an update to the in our Terraland pack version 1.1 from Nico Pixes. The rear attachment has been fixed. Dutch Modding Inc.'s old cow shed got an update to version 1.1. They've added the MP mod functionality, added missing collisions, and changed the mod description number. By the way, we're on mod description 69 right now. Nice. Flat bottom silos got an update from the Flying Dutchman version 1.001. Corrected the capacity of Pharma 250 silo from 100,000 to 250,000 liters. The Grain Quid Pro got an update today from ECB Modding to version 1.2. Added wood and added wood chips. Your next mod update for all platforms is showing as an update, but it's also showing as version 1. I have no idea if this is new or not, but here's the agricultural input production. It's a production plant dedicated to the production of mineral feed, silage preservatives, and 
seeds. Uh, I, you can definitely tell Marcel was not here today because the mod hub is all over the place. One update that's definitely an update is the old grain mill from Bardson V3 to version 1.1. The ability to convert grain into pig feed has been added. The option to collect grain from the mill with the discharge pipe has been added. Manual lighting has been added. Improve the appearance of the roof. Optimization of the mod has been improved. The collision system has been rebuilt and ivy is removed in winter. Next to last mod update for all platforms is going to be the Forage Factory version 1.002 from the LSMT modding team. Recipes improved, production speed has been adjusted, and fix the ball trigger bug. And lastly, we have an update to potato processing from Harrison Fork. Very nice mod name. Version 1.1. They got a lot of fixes and a lot of changes. So problems with the transporting of cucumber, onion, and pepper pallets for the forklift due to a corrupt collider has been fixed, and the unintentional distribution of products that could be further processed within the potato processing to the supermarket has been prevented. Also, gameplay changes, vegetable fat, premium potatoes, and cornstarch can no longer be sold in the supermarket. The production rate of peppers in the greenhouse has been increased. Some recipes have been slightly changed. The sale prices for some products have been adjusted, and Farmer Wholesale now accepts more products. And your one new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Labauch 100 D16 trailer. Three ton weight on here. Will brands include Lizard, Continental, Trelleborg, Michelin, Lizard, Continental. I'm just going to go in circles at that point. Lots of options there to choose from. Design, we have standard. You can do extensions, which are folding and unfolding. Attacher, it says trailer hitch. It gives us an extra hitch on the back. That's kind of nice. Main color. You've got red labouche and beige labouche. Uh, looks like the red on the bottom is going to be the same. And that's it. Well, guys, that is it for today's new mod video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of those daily videos, I've already released Farm Some News. We talked about progress on the F-350, the Farmall M-Series, the John Deere Combines, and some other stuff. So check that out if you haven't seen it already. Otherwise, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.